In this episode, we will be featuring Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. To start off, I have this frame that I, or key holder that I got from the Dollar Tree about a year ago. We're going to be removing those um, little hooks and painting it with some white chalk paint. Now I'm coming in and I am I'm going to be casting a variety of molds from the Roses mold from IOD. And if you look at the roof, I actually use the Trimmings 3 mold, the shortest one in that set. Um, and it worked perfectly right across the top of that roof. Erin is one of the most dynamic artists I think I've seen on YouTube. She uses products like stamps and molds in ways that I wouldn't have even thought to use them. She is the queen of layering in her projects and transforms pieces in ways you would have never imagined possible. I also love the inspiring community she has developed in her Facebook group. Members all share their own artwork and encourage each other through their crafting journey. Links to both Erin's Facebook group and YouTube channel are available in the description below. As you're watching me continue to cast a bunch of these molds, I do want to mention I am using DOS Air Dry Clay and um, we will be gluing it on with tight bond quick and thick. I also want to make sure to mention that when you are using these clay in these molds you do want to make sure that you're dusting some cornstarch before starting. It just allows the clay to come out a little bit easier. Also I've learned to um, flip over the mold um, to allow gravity to help you get the mold out. Here's where I'm coming in with that tight bond quick and thick. I'm putting some on and then spreading it out to make sure it gets on all parts um, all the way to the edge of each of the molds. Once that's done, I painted the entire project with Champagne Metallic Paint by Paint Couture. And then I'm coming in with a two other colors from the chalk paint line that Paint Couture has, Basil and French Rose. So Basil will be on all of the leaves and then French Rose will be used for the flowers. I do want to mention that although Erin lives in Australia, so it, you won't be able to shop on her um, website easily, she does have an affiliate link to Paint Couture, which is available in the United States. And I will make sure I link that in the description below too. And here is that French rose um, that we're using to paint the roses. I will say I learned this morning that I had a different kind of paint than what Erin was using. It is Paint Couture, but she uses the mineral all-in-one paint. This is the chalk paint. So I'm very excited to try out the other type of paint that I see her using in her videos. Um, this one I found to be a little bit more difficult. I had to stir it quite a bit to, to be able to use it without it being so watery. So I'm excited to try the all-in-one paint. That, that tends to be something I like to use um, when I'm crafting anyway. Now I'm sealing up my entire project with Big Top by DIY. You can use a polyacrylic sealer or clear wax um, to seal up your project, but you definitely want to do this before the next step, which you'll see in a moment. Now we're going to be using some DIY dark wax to um, bring out a lot of those details. We're going to rub it on the entire project and then use a baby wipe to 
wipe it back and expose a lot of those beautiful details in these amazing molds. And here's a look at our finished project. I would love to know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.